vehicle wrapping. Now I don't have to tell you it's been massive in the modified car scene for a good decade or so now, but we've always had a few questions about the ins and outs of it. So we spoke to the guys at Arlon who make the films and they've sent us down here to Sittingbourne to press these graphics to check out what it's all about. But not only that, we've borrowed a van from Performance VW magazine and we're going to do a whole transformation. So let's get in there and see how we go. <laughs> So Joe, good to meet you mate. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much for doing this for us. No now, um, how long have you been actually doing all this? This is your firm. Yeah, so... You started Prestige when I was 19, so 13 years wow. from now, yeah. And obviously yeah. doing well, because there's a lot of lads walking around. Yeah, and we're doing you, all right, yeah, yeah we're keeping busy. Yeah. Keeping so, busy. Obviously, I'd like you to answer a few questions for yeah, me. Yeah, sure. And obviously for the viewers for Fast Car. No problem, um, no problem. And the first one for me, really, is I picked this film for the van because it's really really glossy now i don't understand how it doesn't get scratched and stuff and, and they've, they've been telling me about this this top layer they put on can you tell me a bit about that so arlon when they manufacture their color change products they have a, a sheet a clear sheet coating that basically when it's manufactured the colors laid out it then gets a coat in front of it. so the top coating protects the finish of the material whilst it's being stored and it's being transported okay so then when we get it here we can measure off how much we need, sheet it off. We can then remove that top coat, which has protected the gloss finish from when it was first manufactured. Okay. So then, when we're applying it, you know, you've got that finish from when it was first made, rather than having it made, having it rolled up. It can go quite motley and quite orange yeah. which a lot of the other manufacturers do have. But okay. I've developed this coating to, uh, yeah, prevent that. Oh, that's wicked. Right, another thing. Yep. Is how do you get in all these gaps? You know when you you know when you're putting a screen protector. We've all done this. Put a screen protector on your mobile yep. phone. You got loads of bubbles and grit and dust, and yep. it, it never looks right. So how do you guys actually do this and make it, you know, smooth? Get in the gaps. Get all the air out because. I mean, obviously, I've seen the lads putting it on. I've seen you putting it on. You've got these air bubbles. How do you get rid of all that? So there is there is technique to it. We do we do work in a method, obviously, to work towards the edges with a squeegee. But there is a, a special technology that the adhesive has got on it. So it's got microscopic uh, air channels, basically, that wow. allow air to flow out the back. So rather than a solid sheet of glue, like the screen protector, okay. something like that, where it can trap air in, you can actually trap air with this push it and it finds its way out through the backs of the channels. So although there is a bit of technique, if there is bubbles, they're not a problem. You can just push them and get rid of them. So it's quite a bit different to sort of window tinting where they put stuff completely on wet different. and then squeegee it yeah, out. It's completely so different. It always goes on dry. That's it. So like with, with these sort of areas, you've got these areas here. When, so it, when it goes all sort of like, you know, you're lifting it up and stuff like that and there's air under it. How, so does, how does that go back to like a nice with, smooth with film? The, with the heat, it softens it and flattens the film completely. So okay. we're using the heat gun in the areas like this. So when you see the fingers building up, we'll use a heat gun and it'll basically flatten it and go all soft, which I'm sure we'll be able to demonstrate and show you. Okay. So one of the things they've said to me at Arlon, and I have not any clue what this means, what does self-healing what does that mean? It sounds technical, but right. I'm sure so you can... when when the product's first installed, um, you can see it can be quite orange peely, which quite a few vinyl wraps are. But what they've got with the Arlon adhesive is over sort of it can take up to a week, depending on the temperatures outside. Basically, it flattens completely. So rather than seeing this sort of like pitted orange sort of effect, it heals itself back to like a really nice glass finish. So as you're looking at this now, in a week's time, it won't look the same as this. It will look a lot flatter, a lot glossier, a lot more depth, which is the only product to have that that Arlen, Arlen got. Oh, okay, that's cool. And, and they, they actually said as well, I mean, not that this is going to be an issue for most people, but they said, if you want to take it off, there's special adhesive so it doesn't pull the paint work off. With exactly it? That. So the, the adhesive's been specifically developed to bond harder to the material than it does the panel. So you've right, got the layer okay. of the colour, and then you've got the layer of the adhesive, and then obviously you've got the panel, but the adhesive bond is stronger that way than it is that way. So yeah. basically, when you apply it and it's stuck to the vehicle, it's great, but when you remove it, the glue stays on the material, 
and it leaves the panels, you know, as, as you put it on. And that's quite important because we've seen yeah. we've seen cheap vinyls in the past, and and you know you've probably used them here and there, <laughs> and uh, have actually taken off lacquer and stuff like that. But this doesn't happen with this product. With this product no. Brilliant. So one of the things everyone's telling me is really important for installers such as yourself is having a film that's good with recovery. Uh, okay. Can you tell me what that is because I've, I've not got a clue. So recovery is basically when you're manipulating the shape of the material over a, over a panel um, and you pull the material back up, you don't want it to have taken that shape, right? So the recovery is basically we can warm it back up and it yeah. takes back the original shape. So it allows you to create the shape of something, but then when you heat it back up, it shrinks back to how you want it to. So it goes back to its original shape. Correct. Brilliant. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to demonstrate the, the ease of the backing paper, the release line of how easy it comes off of the anti-static. So you can see it's absolutely effortless the way it comes off the back of the material, which is really important for us when we're installing. Um, I'm also going to demonstrate the flight technology. So you can see I can glide this along the panel nice and effortlessly. So this is down to the Arlons adhesive and their flight technology. I'm just going to demonstrate the recovery of the product as well, just to show you how well it does recover back to its original shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm up the material to make it nice and soft. And I'm going to put a shape into it with my fist, let it cool down, let it take the shape, and I'm going to show you how it resets itself back to the original shape. So as I'm doing this now, it's just softening all the material and it's going to make it a lot more pliable. So if I let it go cold, you see the material's now kept that shape. So the recovery of this product is when I slowly warm it up, it will take back the shape that it had a minute ago. Which a lot of products, when you stretch something that far, you know, a good deep distance, you're not going to get this recovery from it. There you go. So it is really a case of not all films are equal. You know, you, you having, having the right film is, is makes your life easier. Yeah. Makes it a better job at the end of the day. Exactly that, yeah. Well, I really appreciate that, Jay. Thank you so much for no that. No problem. Um, what we're going to do now is let you and your lads crack on and um, I'm going to sit there, have a cup of tea and watch <laughs> and see, you know, see the masters at work. So yes. cheers, mate. No and, worries, uh, no worries. Yeah, let's get on with this transformation. Yeah, they've actually got me doing some work now. That doesn't happen very often. So it's been a couple of days and we're back here at Prestige Graphics. The guys have been working their tails off all through the night to get this van done. Now, we've already answered all the questions in the last couple of days with the videos but now we're going to look at the transformation and see how the van turned out. Let's go and have a look. Jay, Hello. how are you doing? Wow, yes. look at this. I mean, are you sure this is the same van we brought in here the other day? It's big transformation, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it looks absolutely amazing. So, big thanks to you. No Obviously, a big thanks to Arlon for supplying all the film and stuff, and thanks for asking, answering all our questions. No problem. Perfect. Nice to meet you. Can I take it away? You certainly can. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers.